Hi, this is Roger from Kanker Labs. Today with another edition of our M Show video series, what every maker should have one of. And as you already can see today, it's about test leads. And there are three or four important things you should watch out for when getting these universal four millimeter banana plug uh, test leads. Uh, first of all, the 4mm banana plug, um, it should be a stackable one. You can see perhaps here that you can stack as many as you want of, uh, on top of each other. And the second is here the, um, the plug itself. Uh, you might perhaps see that it's thicker in the middle. That's because there is a a kind of spring uh, or springy contact or in German it's called a lamella basket plug. So that way you have uh, a secure uh, and low resistance connection to uh, any other 4 millimeter uh, banana socket. That's especially important if you are and not only um, to get a safe contact at all, but if you uh, want to put high currents through this um, test lead, which is usually capable of uh, between 10 and 25 amps. This one here is a 25 amps rated uh, test lead. Uh, you, you also need um, a large contact surface and this is um, this is simply ensured or, uh, by these lamella basket or springy contacts. Um, the uh, third thing is you should f watch out for not to get the cheap PVC uh, cables, but uh, extremely flexible silicon cables. And uh, silicon cables have two advantages. Of course, uh, the silicon is the outer insulation. Um, silicon is more heat resistant because in the lab, you always will from time to time accidentally um, touch a, a test lead with your hot solder iron. And silicon is much more heat resistant than PVC. And silicon is much more flexible because um, when you are probing in your circuit with these um, test clips, for example, uh, you often have the problem that depending on where the little jaws here, where you can put them, that if you uh, got by a, a, a force by a stiff cable, uh, then um, you're always fiddling around with getting uh, this thing, uh, getting the test clip really sticking to where it's going to be. And a flexible cable, which is really like, like flexible, like jelly, this uh, makes much more fun and gives you much less hassle when <coughs> doing uh, test work in the lab. And um, of course, it's not only the more flexible silicon uh, insulation outside uh, that gives the flexibility. Inside, there is the, uh, the, wire, the copper wire itself uh, consists of many hundreds of strands or Litz uh, wires uh, strands. And uh, the more, um, the more Litz wires you have, the, the higher the flexibility. And this one is really, it, it, uh, it has no tendency uh, to, to uh, keep straight uh, just as a PVC test lead. So uh, that these, are, these are the reasons why you should go to the uh, slightly higher expenses for buying uh, silicon uh, insulated test le leads you will never regret it and and if you until now have only worked with the cheaper pvc insulated test leads and once you have worked with a silicon insulated test lead you will throw away all your pvc test leads because it's really uh, much more fun to work with these uh, 
professional, but nevertheless more expensive test leads. So that's why we took these three standard one millimeter uh, test leads in our uh, shop because they are not uh, silicon test leads are not available uh, everywhere and we just were searching for an affordable um, company where we could uh, get them from they are really uh, professional quality ones so um, get a pair or some pairs of them for your lab wherever you get hold of them and that was it for today thanks for watching until next time bye from roger bye from kanker labs